Hello, hello again, friends and Lord of Wolfpack members. Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to the Leap Dangerous. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the upcoming buffs for the Asp Scout. Now, these buffs are not going to be quite as sweeping as the buffs for the Beluga or the Down and Back Explorer, but they are going to be somewhat substantial, but perhaps in a very, very different way. So let's go and have a quick look and see exactly what I'm talking about. Now the buffs in question for this ship are actually going to be taking place in the optional internals. We're not getting any mass reduction for this ship, at least as far as I'm aware, and at least as so far as Beta 4 is concerned. Now as you can see we have five internals, minus the planter approach suite, but that's kind of neither here nor there. We have two class 4s, two class 3s, and a class 2. But this is getting changed on the beta server, and I'll show you exactly what's going to be happening just now. Now, as you can see, we're gaining an additional class 2 internal slot, but not only that, one of the class 4 slots has actually been upgraded to a class 5 slot. So, what does this mean? This means that we can go and make this ship a little bit more usable in different roles. It's going to be a much better combat ship, going to be able to install class 5 shields instead of just class 4s. Not only that, it's if you for some reason want to use this ship as an exploration ship, you can then go and put a class 5 fuel scoop instead of a class 4. But why would you use this ship when there are so many other better alternatives for exploration? But I do think that this will be making this ship a much better combat ship. Now, personally, I am not the biggest fan of the Asp Scouts. I really cannot get to grips with the appearance of the ship. But overall, it's a really, really good ship. For the simple fact that it is extremely manoeuvrable for a medium ship. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it is the most manoeuvrable of all the medium ships. It rivals both the Vulture and the Eagle in manoeuvrability. It is just that good. But it just doesn't feel right to me. Now, I don't know whether or not this buff is going to be enough to make this ship viable for me. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, what I do plan to do is actually go and make a new modded video for this build. But what I want to know, guys, is making the modded videos, do you want to go and see the engineer roles or just want to see the results as we've been doing for the buff videos? Let me know, as always, down in the comments, because my idea is, if you're coming to watch videos on buffs, you don't have to want to sit through all the modding procedures. But if you're specifically coming for a modding video, perhaps you do want to see it. I'm not 100% certain. I just want to gauge your reactions to this. So let me know, as always, in the comments, and I will base my decisions on that in the future. But anyway, guys, that's it for this very short look at this ship's updates. I really do hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those are good enough for you. As always, like I said, that's what the comments are for. And if you don't want to miss any videos by me, go and smash that bell icon, join the notification squad, you know you'll never regret it. But I've been Commander Chaos Wolf from Sci-Fi Gaming. You guys, as always, have been epic. I will see you soon. And until next time, my fellow commanders, keep flying and stay shiny.